beautiful day, a beautiful and a cool weather that is, you know. <laughs> At first I was thinking it's going to, you know, it looks so cloudy at some area, my area, you know, thinking maybe anything can happen at any point in time, but to God be the glory we are here. So <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, remember that um, you are not the only one that God has given life. And because he has given you one, it's time for you to show attitude, which is your gratitude to the Almighty God. Because <laughs> He has taken you from worry to a beautiful story of testimonies that your life you have seen another day. So it's another chance for you to make your dreams come true. It's another day, it's another opportunity, it's another time for you, you know, a chance for you to make your dreams come true. My name is Ulori Adejokiabiki David, and um, welcome to Galaxy Television, where we are out to reach out to the stars. Okay, so in all this, this is Family and Values, and Family and Values is a program that is set out to help to remind us of those little, 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 you know, details when it comes to the value that our family, our home, the legacy, and many other beautiful things that we have left undone or we decide to ignore or believe it's all time things and you don't need it but you do need it because you can always inculcate it into this 21st century which is digitalized kind of life so to god be the glory we are here it's the last friday in the month of august and we are grateful to the almighty god that you are here and we are also here and we can see we can hear we can communicate we can reason we can you know take things in the way we desire it and so <laughs> because i'm only aging <laughs> i have a beautiful sister that one may take this ride and take this journey right together from time to time by the grace of god as we continue this program on family and values this morning i have with me darling uluwa joy hey. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Don't now, don't go, now, don't go now. There. Wait now. Don't go there. Uh, what? What? What now? You just did an introduction. I said okay. I cleared myself quietly. I said, hmm. Let me react. That you said, don't go there. Don't go there to where. I'm suspecting. You. Okay. Yes, you suspect me this morning because. <laughs> I'm going to take your car, your heart from you. That is that one is going. I'm already you should know it's going. So I just you know, had this car in the house for over a year. Uh -uh. And I don't know. I did like, come up with this car, boy. Yeah, Friday. Feel yourself. <laughs> and you're really feeling yourself, you know. Uh -huh. It's no. one life that we get. We are going somewhere. After this, I'll eat fish on one your life, head. One life, one life. We get one life. After, after the show, me and you, we're going to eat fish. We're going to eat fish. <laughs> Very good morning to you. I'm wonderful. Yes. Okay, so yes, yes. I know a lot of you will be saying, ah, what's wrong? No, nothing is wrong with me. I just know that today she's not my guest. I'll collect her. <laughs> that will forget. This as it's not only guests that will be collecting, sometimes you collect from your partner to be nice. Welcome to Family and Values. Yes, it's Friday. And it's the last Friday in the month of August. How wonderful it is to start September on a Sunday. Hmm. For me, it's something that I'm going to dance. You know, when you just want to dance and tell God thank you, you know, August has has come and it's going and then we are entering that dreadful period everybody said them by month then but nothing is going to happen mm -hmm. once you have god and you know see that's why it's always good then eh? when you have god you should also bless the servants that mm -hmm. he uses to bless your life this is not a period where you do chop you carry your the, the 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 grace you believe in carry it along with you so that you know god will be giving you multiple blessings you know yes family and values is here again i know it's friday and we're trying to keep it all calm cool collected and i decided to be girlish baby girl i came in pink and all of you know that pink is the ladies color you know it's not my color anyway but I decided to be pinkish in nature this morning because I just want the baby girl soft life this Friday. And I'm going to start with a lorry because I know she'll be taking me out here to go <laughs> have that fish. See, now I'm rapping for her. Not after her cowboys are children. My rap will not waste. Definitely, it will not waste. 
So she's going to be buying fish for me. Yes, welcome to the show. My name is Princess Joy Abu. You know, she gave me the uh, introduction. Yes, yeah, so Oluwa Joy. Oluwa Joy. And Oluwa Joy. Do you know the meaning? And Oluwa, Oluwa is God. And means um, Anolua means Joyce. Joyce. Okay. Yes, Anolua Joy. So, yes, that is another way I'll also be introducing <laughs> myself to my Yoruba friends. Anolua Joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to yeah. the glory of God, uh, we have come to the, you know, another last phase in mm. the month of another month. Oh, frequent, recently, we've been having the first day in the month starts on a time, work day start, no 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 from the beginning of the year starts on a work on day. a work day yeah from when we got to june there was a it switch on the weekend. On a, it started on the weekend, weekend yeah from june to july july August, yes yes you know it started on the weekend yeah and so we're starting another one and it's starting on a Sunday. Sunday. So what is time to go dance? So it's time for you to dance. Yeah. And it's time for all those who are believing God to also have a transcend. There's going to be it. a wild tent yes, open for yes, you according yes, to the book yes. of Isaiah. A wild one. You know, it said it's going to remove your loins mm. and it's going to make sure that every gather, you know, is tied around you so that you extend your tent, extend your tentacle. Something new, something good, something beautiful is coming your way. So freak not, because this God is, this kind of God. Yes, and this so, and, and it's a period where we are going to be more than conquerors. Yes, yes so we are going just to be put your, don't fear Relax what is Ember month. Yes, Ember month. It's in the month of December. Which that is, is it. Joy. This is like full of joy. Like the Johnny's, you know, we have around Like the Johnny's, we have around us, like the Johnny's so we have around us It's going you know? to be all mm. joy for yeah. you, it's after, really for us here, yeah. for everyone who is part of family and values and also galaxy television as a whole so yeah. don't fret the year is going to be well and we're going to end with joy by the grace of god so i also want to send this shout out just like you always want to do a shout out if you have one to your husband to your wife even if you want to do it anonymously we cannot mm. do it for you we will give you all the cajoling all the pampering you know for your daughter for your son for your wedding anniversary any beautiful thing you're celebrating send it to us and we surely deliver so a big shout out goes to her darling dr bola alagbe as you'll be having another year we wish you all the very best we pray it will not be your last and god will continue to use people like you who are still in nigeria to keep our health you know um system you know up to date helping to care for those who need them at the point of emergency at every point in time and also this our father Rera Adu, mm. Lady Adu was yes, here during the yes, December. She will be having a massified concert. Oh, okay, on Sunday. On Sunday, uh, yeah. On Sunday, yeah. That's Sunday. Uh, September first. Yeah, she will be having it, mm. and um, she wants you to be part of it. So she wanted to join her here in Keja, mm. somewhere in Keja here. So she congratulations to you as you go ahead to do this message five concert uh, for another year. She does it anytime she's celebrating her birthday. How birthday. So it's just a way of praising God, just like you said, wear your dancing shoes and just give God the beauty. Give God the glory. You know, something won't be beautiful about praising God is sometimes you don't even need to get the lyrics. The have, you ever received a, have you ever received a check or a good meals? The fact and that you're dancing. dancing and dancing and it's okay, it's the laughing. fact that you're dancing. Yeah, laughing. You know that kind of dance. Let me say the dance. The fact that you're you know, dancing. Happen? That dance, that rhythm is coming from inside. From the inside. The so let, let's, do let's do that. Let's do that as we walk into the month of September. Moment. And all will be well with us, with our children, as they prepare to resume back to school also. If you if you have forgotten anything in church, it's better you start listening there. Call the child and say, my love, what is it that you need again? Write it down so that you don't forget. These students, they will go through that way. They will give you the list let like them, this. Let them listen that way. Just It's another way to get close to them. You anyway, know? that's true. But at the end of the day, it is what you can afford because, and want to feel yes, is important. You let them know why you're getting them why. this. While it's another way to get close to them. Race. It's another way to let them know that you care. And it's not just about you enforcing certain things on them. No matter how, how young they are. 
at 10, at 5, call them. Make them sit on your lap or make them sit next to you. And hey, oh, call me. I have bought this. I have bought this. What else do you think you need? And if he is asking or he or she is asking for anything higher than what you can afford, let him or her know. Don't shout. Don't let the frustration of the situation in the country make you, you know, shout to the child. Let him or her know so that he will know that you care. That, see, this is how much I have left. And I just want to make you happy. That's why I'm doing it. I love you so much. I don't want you to lack anything. But if I cannot give you now, I will give you at this particular point in time. Our children, the reason, you heard what the FRC board said. Yeah. They understand. They will remind you of certain things you forgot. Definitely. And God will continue to take care of our children and our home and our family. We will not lack any good thing. Yes, things are hard. But God will always be there to make it available. As long as you are not lazy and you are not going into criminality. We will be going for a mini feature right now. I will be right back. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Thank you for always staying back to watch us. Thank you for following us on the go. Thank you for being there on AVO app on O Prime, on National Digital Live Station, which is 741, also on um, the Star Times 110. Also, we are free to air on our UHF, which is 27. And very soon, our radio. Opa, 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 opa. Don't try us. <laughs> Joy. Today we are looking at a topic that is so interesting. That's why I'm looking so dicey and so digitalized this morning. <laughs> you know, first love. There's one thing about first love that doesn't go off your head. You tell me. There's something about first love. Yeah, I don't know about and we're looking at identifying first love. Everybody, when you hear love, you go, ah, ah, more, you go, bless more, you go, smile, you go, so smile. I'm smiling when we hear Excuse love. me, look at your face already. Aaron, Please, smiling. look at, look at, look at that I'm face. Smiling. Does it look like I'm smiling? Excuse me, nobody will believe whether you're smiling. Look at, look at, look at, look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh my God. See, Anywhere in the world, <laughs> even in the midst of somebody who is not, you know, mentally okay, mm. you hear N O V E. Just love. Ah, something will definitely come back to your head. Yeah. It should be like, Baga! You know that sound? Baga! And you're like, wow, really? Is this love? They said, um, ah, there's this program by which kind of day will help me. Oh, uh, that is slow. My brother, that day will help head. me. They said, if you want to see an old woman's teeth, mm. just tell her something about love. Huh. And you just see her smile. Mm. And when she smiles, you know, she's trying to go back to the memory lane. Do you remember her? <laughs> we, we are not getting the memory lane today. Sure that there is no way it will not come. Because we are saying identifying first love. So if I want to talk about it, I'll definitely remember my first love. So, yes, let us go for this oh, mini feature again. I want you to listen. Uh, yes, Jesus, I love you. And Jesus himself said, love your brother as yourself. Jesus did not create okay. just that. God did not just create man and woman for just nothing. He created them for a purpose, for love. So, I'm talking about man and woman. No. So, it's time for us. Let, let me just want us. Please, let's go back to our mini feature. I want to you to listen to understand what we're going to be talking about today. Okay? We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Whatever question our guest is going to be giving us this morning. And so we have the honor and the privilege of having someone who is young at heart, you know. Yes, young at heart. He's still in he's still in, you know, in the market. <laughs> he's still in the market. But um, you you will find this we by telling you whether he's already engaged or not but i will come with this his name is pablo james he is a creative director and a production manager anything that has to do with creating artistic look pictures um, views images that's what he's good at doing it's so good to have them again johnny they travel this guy they travel <laughs> business everywhere uh, don't come to our that, that's my middle name I call him, the, 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 James, Pablo James Ajala. Uh, uh, Alicante, 
are kan no we make the battle with ja are kan ka wo so account last time we came are kan tabata that's what they said you will not do it well last time you came i didn't take any this is your two this is your dropping it before you no problem no problem we still go to we still go to so we share it that's it you take one i take one no i'm prepared i'm prepared this time for you <laughs> oh my god, you see when I say so yeah. baby girls like I can't be pink. She's prepared, I love that statement. Now you're supposed to be down for me to yourself. Make you want this today. No man, he didn't question you. Because we are white. Right. Can you see the beauty? Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Let me first love. You are claiming first love. You are claiming first love. Okay, so now Pablo identify first love. Is that anything like you know identify and we identify first love uh when you say identify first love like the person is already in love and um, been in a relationship before mm -hmm. or let's say use the word uh, someone that's not been in a relationship before oh, no someone who's not been in a relationship before, before. yes there's something like identify first so how do i identify that <laughs> wow well, this is my first so what are the things i'm going to see i'm going to identify or i'm going to notice i'm going to wow First of all, we've, uh, we've had people come on, on social media to say they had the five first love, they see their you know, spouse somewhere and they just, of course I've had such a person where somebody said, uh, you joined on Facebook and just typed somebody's name and she came out and that's all. <laughs> and the next thing is they talking, they like themselves and hmm. uh, marriage. I'm also a victim of identifying five first love. So okay. I, I, share, share with us, share with us. Hmm. Yeah, just share. Don't shy, don't shy. Share something. Just a tip. Yeah, we can learn. Yeah, the point, the point is love is it's not easy because sometimes your heart can deceive you. Sometimes your eyes even can deceive you. Because mm. the way men see things in our perspective is different from the way women see things. Yeah. A man see you and identify you in different way. He can see you and identify to say, Oh, is that he likes your body or he likes your beauty mm. or he just probably likes the current vibe you're giving to him mm. that moment. But sometimes those, those things can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those, those things are just mere things that you just see. But it's when you get to one year, two years, three years, you know, okay, mm -hmm. I think this is reality. Mm -hmm. Start dawning on you. But it's very valuable. It's something that I, I won't say it's a happening because you have to start beating. You know, back, 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 back. Some say that. Well, maybe. So sometimes. tell me, the moment I saw that guy, like, I just have to. <laughs> I couldn't even control myself. I any time he's around, you know, I just feel this tree, tree all over me. That's crush. That's sometimes, crush. sometimes we mistake crush sometimes for crush love. Leads, crush can be different things. Mm. Let us not mistake it. We are our adults here. Yeah. Crush can be different things. You can crush on the person on just the body. Hmm. For man, it's easy to crush. Even for women these days now, not the. Our generation, you can just see. Mm -hmm. That's why. Right. No matter see you as a guy, mm. like, okay, like, I'm crushing in you first love. And mm. when you guys get to know, you get to know yourself. You just want to keep it neutral and not be in a relationship. Mm. I tell some people sometimes it's not always you want a relationship. Sometimes be friends with this person. Mm. Just friends. Sometimes no. be friends. You can like somebody so bad. And you're only supposed to be on that level you of can friendship. Like somebody so good and you just want to be on the friendship level. Mm. I've had first love where I see her i liked her i wanted to date her but she said no and i'm happy she said no hmm. she wanted to be a, f a friend so just be friends but I, no this is what it is it, it is what it is but i identified as first love she saw it too but she just wanted to keep it as friendship mm -hmm. and for that way I, I would say identifying it is you will know actually hmm. so it happens based on first, first of all you start featuring like you just see this person and your eyes can see from this person like uh the, the, the statistic that says uh we blink our eyes millions of times in mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. so you at that moment you blink your, your eyes at least 150 <laughs> times you just blink like that um imaginative that thing is really real not mm. just <laughs> no, i i you know i love the fact that both of you are taking and the love the love the love oh my now, god how realistic is first love and how risky it is we've had people just like you said earlier on they see themselves it's when we're all in secondary school everybody had the first, first love. love yeah 
I still, you know, that 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 first person that you saw and naturally fell in love with is considered your first. That's why we're in secondary school, then plenty. <laughs> you know, somebody, some, I, I still feel that I'll tell me you've always been my first love. I'm say clearly. First love is how many years you've not gotten second, third, fourth, fifth. Now it is, it is, it is, it is always said that first love is that one person that years to come you still feel that same thing, you still feel that same, that same punch that you felt the first day you saw that person. That's what first love is all about, you know. When so, when someone you're in school and that person, you see that even when the person is married mm. and you see the person with family. You still feel that inner connection. that connection now. My question is, how risky is it, and how realistic is it? Okay, for I'll, I'll deal with risky. So first of all, you don't know this person. Mm -hmm. You're only seeing like physical appearance majority of the time. Mm -hmm. You don't know this. So it's very risky. Mm. And in the beginning, because it's your first love, you already like see that love. You already calculated different things. Yeah. It makes you want to jump into a lot of confusion mm. without even thinking. So it's probably when you now get into it, then you know the reality will done when you suddenly mm. one year, two years. So mm. the risk is like let's say ninety eight point nine percent. Yeah. Okay. So this is very very risky. Ninety eight point. But like I would say, even if the person is at first love, first be friends with that person. Mm. Even if you're a friend, you can't know the person one hundred percent. But first be friend with friends that person. With that, person. Mm. that way you can tell if you mm. still really want to go into that first love. Mm. So man, it's majority of the time, yeah, like you said, secondary school, you guys left secondary school and you came back again and mm. you're learning, ah, you've always been my first love. love. You guys get to date when mm. you are not adult now. Yeah. That time, what you're thinking in secondary school is different from what you'll be thinking now. now. He or she'll be thinking now. Mm. Okay. Now they are more mature, they are able to handle pressure if they can. But yes, there will still be a lot of risky things happening in that, you know, that aspect. So, but it is. The risky part is the 98.9 percent. You will encounter so many things because I don't know what you're thinking is. The event is a flying through your head. It's either you mm. want to get down with the best saving or you just want to test the water. Hmm. That's just Which one is testing the water again? <laughs> eh? yeah, Which one is testing the water? Get yeah, down with the person testing the water. Is it not the same? They are two it's different not. things. Uh, Pardon me, please. Yes, the same. I can get down with the person and test one another. Uh, we're now testing the waters. No, even though Friday set Monday and Friday on this show is all about the youth, uh, we try to give them a voice to express themselves. It's time for us to go on our word on marble, so don't get carried away. You think I'm going to see anything on what test the waters? Hi, let's go on our word on marble. I want to know for it's true or not? You know, you do first love. You do first love. You enter one chance. Is it true? Now, I will not. I will not. A map was saying something like love at first sight is easy to understand. Our Pablo here said, "Is it true? How easy is it? It's when two people have been looking at each other for a lifetime." You know and it becomes a miracle now i'm not explaining that miracle because ah, suddenly you see k and joy suddenly you see a lady and k or uh, you know you you just like two see, people who like how can <laughs> how can it is a lie i have never imagined it the reason why for you so why is it that you said for now it may be impossible we have seen it. I have experienced something like that. In short, yesterday, 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 yesterday. I hope they are not watching me. I'm not going to mention their names. If, if you say you've seen it, in which age? Mm. No, sincerely. In sincerely. It's not in the younger generation. It's not in the younger age, generation. Is in which age? In the, the reason why you can see because those people have bypassed this generation. They, they are not in this generation anymore. Mm. They, they believe that their first love in that generation to not be able to now find themselves find and get married. Probably the guy should be in his 40s or late 30s. In 50s? Yeah. Yeah. And the lady is in, in her 40s. Yeah. And, yeah. Know, and I was yeah. like, oh uh, no! So can work then. But now when you have a lady... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, a lady in what age when range? Guy, age, okay. age range. Give me the age Let's range. Let's say now. 26, 27, 28. Okay, wait, a guy. I'm thinking right now, like social media has influenced so much. That's for people that want to mm. get influenced with. But it doesn't like, influence so much that 
you know we don't see this we we put love as a plus hmm. now and put financial breakthrough as the main like the main you know, the main cause the main cause hmm. you say oh i love you but it's love not is enough the starter. We get like I love you, but it's not enough. It's not enough. But it will never be enough. You are saying that okay. That means you are literally saying that. Oh, I love you, but you know, just keep your love. This love should be now. So what the two of you are doing now is this: that there is no love without um, conditions. Now, where I'm coming from, and when I no, that's the question I want to ask him now. Okay. The two of you, in short. Mm. The two of you, mm. are you trying to tell me now that there is no love, nothing like love can work at first sight without conditional financial backing? Is that what we're agreeing now? It with this generation, it's with this generation, because we're talking about youth right it's now. Yeah, it, it can actually. Of course, uh, for it to happen to me, I'm, I'm still part of this a bit of this generation. Mm. Even I'm not crazy, but uh, it can, yeah, sure. It, it can based on you have to find your like mind first of all you have to understand that the lady has to work with the guy the guy has to work with the lady to be able to connect and now it is difficult to find a like mind these days and of course you can't say oh this person is like me this person is like no no mm. you are both different persons that from come different places different places that come together and try to do something these days what a man is thinking is different from what a woman is thinking mm. currently so if you want to put first love into that you guys will love yourself love at first sight you just say that oh kiss guy oh beautiful lady like i said there's a thing that attracts that is not attracting these things you know back then our, our parents are not really they don't really concerned about this beauty thing mm -hmm. yes, you you like your the, your uh, own the f family you come from yeah. and your, your personality you just see a lady in the farm like okay oh, yeah, live a lot of family blah 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 you know, like her, hard working respectful but if you check the lady there is a very she's like oh, beautiful she's mm. lady there you get the people that get to look for the beauty ones are the only the ones that are the prince the mm. you know, maybe one royal family you understand but now what will probably attract you currently right now is something hmm. something has to trigger your first love now currently mm. something has to trigger it is that your beauty your vibe your hard working your the way you talk there to this person something. something has to move. move so when now probably the guy has been with several ladies or the girl has been with several guys you get and he now sees this guy and you know the way this the heart works hmm it will make you feel like you've not seen this thing before. Thank you. Thank like you, you for that. You've not experienced this kind of this person. It's quite like you've not different. Seen this thing in this person. Very person unique. Before. Yeah. So it makes you like, wow. Wow. It's set back like, okay. There is that like nodding and you know you know the way. <laughs> let me no. let me use the word. Wait. We just keep making. We just keep putting the word into the guy's mouth. Hey. Like, <laughs> that, that's where. That's where I'm going to make my second place. So when I said you do first love and you enter one chance, I'm mm. looking at the vulnerability that surrounds first love. You just said something. Your heart to be beating you. So you're throwing caution into air. You're not at that point. You're not being calculative enough. All you're feeling is just some butterflies deep inside yeah, of you. Yeah. And then you're going to bed with this person's image. You're waking up. It is the, the first thoughts. call, the thoughts, you know. That's why you see that people that fall in love, you see that the first three months, they are constantly calling each other mm -hmm. back to back, you know. Where are you? Have you eaten? Oh, eat for me. Or if you don't eat, I will not, you know. You start hearing, <laughs> ah, I'm waiting for you before I eat. Too. <laughs> hey, I'm having headache. Go. You know, and then you now be hearing all those things. That's because somebody just fell in love. Yeah. And it's similar with first love. You meet this person, you feel like this is your first because I feel it's just a feeling. You feel like it's first love. And then you throw caution and step in. How do you manage the vulnerability that comes with first love? Because there is a lot of vulnerability there. Okay. That is where a lot of a lot of ladies lose it and give it in to the guy. And then that's where a lot of guys, you know, lose it too and become so emotional so that the lady takes advantage of it just because you believe this is your first love. So how do you manage the vulnerability that comes with first love yeah. or identifying that first love? Well, let's, let's, let me put it this way. Hmm? 
that vulner vulnerability part is mm. first of all she used one word intentional mm. first of all be intentional with yourself yourself tell yourself yeah, is it somebody that is in love no no you are in love <laughs> not in lust yeah not in no. lust you are in love not in no it's not that you are blind only you say love is blind yeah, when blind, but when no until you go it, it's, it's, it's 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 just really beautiful like I mean, was, I mean you, you've had situation whereby you know that this person is not even beautiful against mm. like okay what is that? and that's just where your love yes. has, your mind so is the, that part is you have to be intentional with your own self because when you're intentional with yourself that's when you can do to i tell somebody if you don't have love to give you can't fall in love of course you can't if you yourself can't know what you love basically what means love is, you were struggling to understand what how you can give a love to somebody mm. so when you're intentional with yourself you want to point that intentionality to that relationship you get you want to make sure that that relationship works well now when you're doing that majority of the time the lady might not see it or the lady might not you know no. <laughs> feel it that way you get or the guy might not even feel it these days I, I'll, I'll tell people oh uh, um if you like a guy go meet him then i like you say it you know even if the guy doesn't agree you also express yourself express yourself go move on you are in love, not in loss. So once, once you uh, you've identified that first love, and you probably get into it, I tell people, don't start what you cannot finish. Okay. You don't are doing what you cannot finish. You, can, you are doing something. Yes, you are doing something, and majority time, you know, <laughs> maybe you start a particular, maybe the calling back to back, the routine, and you are no longer doing it anymore. Hmm. Then you, that's when reality starts dawning on you. So. You're not vulnerable anymore. The person start looking for every way to either leave or start trying to change you, and that you, know, you can change people, change this constant, they change by themselves. You understand? So, be, be, when you are intentional, you'll be vulnerable. Hmm. When you're intentional, you'll be vulnerable. Okay, now, James. James Ajala, no, Pablo Ajala James. <laughs> <sighs> I want to ask. In the cost of first love okay if you cannot identify if you, you just find yourself uh seeing someone you you have soft spot for can we say that is you know yes, love like what are those signs you know that you can easily okay. you have you have said you've said you've talked about maybe your beauty your hard working your intelligence you're smart and the guy will just see you and say wow babe i love this guy I, you know i love this man i love this lady she's good she's not just beauty without brains we have many beauty with without brains so they're plenty but um, we know also that we have many beauties and with you know those that you cannot buy with money how do we know that in the course of this first love what are the approach that we need to put in you can see someone i like you just said it that you can say what you feel and just move on but what are those signs i need to identify first and you mean signs like problem signs or good signs good signs that you need to look out for identifying your first love well we all know what we want first of all i'm mm. a guy let me use myself in court that's okay. i'm a guy i see a lady and maybe in my times of relationship or in my times of seeing a girl at these particular things that i high personally been looking for and i've not seen then i now see a lady doing it she might have her flops mm -hmm. but there's this one thing every person have what that one thing, mm. one thing they just want to mm. there's a statistic that says men do not get hug like uh uh 98.9 percent of the time hmm. but women get old even from anybody mm. like mm. do you understand like men do not get hog, hugged 98.9 percent a lot of the time but women get why do you think now, so? imagine if a lady meets you <laughs> and in just in one day she's give, she has given you 25 hugs ah what will pop to your head mm. and you as a guy you like hog immediately you start thinking ah mother ladies she, those are the things that you identify first of all you identify your, the things that triggered you that makes you feel like oh i like this thing it might not even be hug it might just be word of business hmm. some people it's just business you see a lady just talking and she's so passionate about talking about this business she's passionate about talking her own business about the idea to somebody about how to talk to somebody there's just one thing that is just 
trick I mean do we have the other one thing that we lack that we just want to see a person doing it happens in both ladies and men mm. true I think I believe that because I watched a movie recently sorry joy uh, wrong side of the track the lady you know the guy they asked that what was exactly what regard you know said no that girl i cannot do anything without her now i said I, I i just wanted to carry the mother's guy you know it's just this by the side guy and he just entered the car not knowing that the girl was behind the back seat you know when an area boy just carry motor one take and speed just to carry around yeah and i said what do you think you're doing she came out from back of the room. what do you think you're doing hello this is a girl who has been missing love affection from her parents she doesn't have affection that's why we say the the affection we're supposed to give to our children if we're not giving it to them they'll seek it somewhere else and this was what caused their first love now it's can i can i can i ask this question as we run though you know we're talking about identifying oh. and a lot of youths and teenagers they have fallen prey all in the name of first love mm -hmm. and they'll say oh my first love is the person that took away my pride mm -hmm. my first one first love is the first person that I had my first kiss mm -hmm. now I would like you in form of an advice to help us and that's why I asked that question how realistic is first love because they've used it to deceive a lot of people I'm your first love. You always remain my first love forever. Mm -hmm. So you're in another relationship. Your brain is taking you back to the first kiss, the first um, hug you had, just like you were saying. And you're already thinking, could this be my... So I've made, heard people say, they've made mistakes. I would have married my first love. I don't know why they <laughs> married that person. You know, So something was like, actually missing. Now, in the course of identifying your first love, what are those things we should put into caution and consideration? First of all, don't, don't, don't rush. That's the first, first thing. Don't yes. rush. Yes. What, you're, what is rushing is your heart. Mm. Mm. Don't rush. Understand this person. Like I said, you can be friends with this person first. It's your first love, fine. But understand this person first. Because your first love can be your bitter love. Mm. Okay. It has been bitter love to a lot of people anyway. Okay. But does that mean if you have a bitter love, you should that's my last question because we are time. Does that mean because you had a bitter love you cannot you know prepare your mind and heal up and open your heart for another side of love? I, I, I posted something yesterday, uh before I knew just quickly say this. I posted something yesterday about a guy who's I don't I'm not sure if it's the guy first love. I'm not supposed to say it, but I have to say it, but <laughs> active towards it. He had this girl he has been dating for quite a lot of like it since secondary school. Oh. And you know, so far so good their relationship goes past goes past goes. Let me just go through the point. Now currently the guy is mad. Oh. They broke up for five since five years ago. Oh. You understand? Yeah. Now that that girl might probably be his first love. That's why it's difficult for him to let loose. Oh. You understand? Majority of the time, you, you even if, like I, like I said it also, if you don't have love to give, majority of the time, you can't, if you have love to give, you cannot love. Oh. But you will find it difficult. Okay. So people will say, oh, why do you love me? I tell people, when somebody asks you, or your spouse asks you, why do you love me? Stop saying, I love you for this and that. Mm. Hmm. My question is, if that person gets into an accident, that beauty that you think you like, hmm. if the person gets into an accident, hmm. you still love this person. Oh. So, in the course of identifying first love, do not rush. Do not rush. Do not rush. Hmm. Okay. And be friends with this person. Gradually, when you become friends with this person, get close. There are people that know this person more than you. Hmm. Already, already, no more already. You yes. You, there's people that know this person. If you are yeah. getting close to this person, also get close with this friend. If so that you be able to know this, this is how this person is. It's back. so good to, to have you this morning, Pablo. And we're so grateful. Um, we've been talking with Pablo, who's a creative director and a production manager. Anything production. Nah, Pablo. Okay, okay. <laughs> so thank you for coming. And we hope you have a thank wonderful you. weekend. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, yes, you've heard it from our guest. If you are identifying your first love, do not rush.
take a chill pill, calm down, let those butterflies die first, then you now realize that, ah, am I truly identifying my first love, but my word for you today is, as you go out, let love lead, yes, this weekend, he has said it, if you don't have love, you can't give love, it's just the truth about it, no matter how hot you are, if you don't have love, inside of it you can't give it out so it has to start with you first be your personal first love love yourself first before you can start identifying who is first love you know so yeah that's my word for you that's week. ah thank you for being a part of family and values it's weekend and i'm kind of excited okay yeah. someone is very excited and because it's time for us to run i will be wishing you the very best of the weekend next week is going to be another run with joy apple and um, i will be sitting on the other side <laughs> so all i just want to wish you is to know also i i will ask pablo what it means to test the waters okay <laughs> i'm going to ask him that i promise you i'm going to do that and i'll get back to you on that so it's a beautiful day today and i wish you the very best of the weekend also to all our crew from the president to uh all the mcr the camera units the editors thank you thank you thank you everyone to our hop and hsm thank you so much for the privilege and the opportunity you've given unto us this week again and we're grateful to the almighty god who has made everything possible on that note as we remain Olori at the and with david i wish you the very best of the weekend and walk into the month of september full of joy and gratitude and all will be well with you have a splendid day and join us for the rest of the program on Galaxy Television. Bye for now.